I'm Mrs. Elke, and I'm here with Ian, who is how old? Nine. All right, and today, Ian, what are we painting? We are painting a chicken like this. All right, show them your chicken. Our chickens are walking. If you'd like to learn how to paint a chicken, follow along step by step to see how it is done. Hope you enjoy. All right, we're going to start off making a chicken and I'm going to use um, mostly some browns, some, a little bit of yellow and some red. I may throw in some white and black and a little bit as well, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the light brown and I'm gonna make a U shape on my picture. It's gonna be kind of a wide U, almost looks like a boat. to be the head and one side to be the tail. I think I'm going to make the head on this side. So for the head I'm just going to do a little circle with my brown. And then I'm going to bring that down to kind of widen my U a little bit. So Basically, I'm making my U quite a bit fatter. And I'm going to try to use my brush strokes in the same direction that the feathers would go of the chicken. So it starts with the head and then kind of works its way down. Now I've got this brown kind of wet. I'm going to start adding in some other colors. So like I might dip into some red and start adding some red brush strokes like this. And because the brown is still wet, the more that I brush, the more that it'll kind of blend together. I could also use a little bit of dark brown and throw some dark brown brush strokes in. And notice I'm not cleaning my brush in between. I'm just going straight in for the colors because then it'll kind of help them blend on their own, okay? So I'm gonna keep doing this as I go all the way up to the tail of the chicken. Um, I'm gonna go back in with the light brown now more light brown feathers and kind of keep working towards the tail. And notice as I'm doing these brush strokes, I'm kind of getting some feather-like brush strokes because I'm just kind of moving the same way that those feathers would grow. So that just little quick brush strokes. That looks good. Looks like a big brown banana right now, huh? We'll have to make it look more chicken-like. All right, I'm going to keep working up till I get to the tail. And if you notice, when I get up to the tail, I'm going to kind of push my brush strokes out a little bit towards the edge like this. And then I'm lifting up my brush to give it a little bit more of a feathery look. Get those tail feathers going. On the tail too, I can add some more colors, like maybe on the ends, I'll make I'll make a little bit of it darker brown. Just to give it some extra colors. Like that. And then just make sure that the bottom of your chicken has a nice U shape. So see how all that's connected, just like a smile? Yeah, make that nice and solid. All right, now that I've got kind of the main feel of the body, I'm gonna work a little bit more on the head, okay? So I'm gonna go in straight with red. I still am not gonna rinse my brush off at all. It's okay if there's some brown left. And I'm going to make a little section of red kind of in the front part of the chicken, like so. It's not quite a perfect circle, more just kind of a red blob in the front of his head. I'm also going to add a little red, kind of like a raindrop, underneath the red blob. So it should be a little bit fatter at the bottom and skinnier towards the top. And then the chickens have those nice red combs on the top of their hair. And to do that, I'm going to turn my brush up and down and I'm going to just make little marks like this that go across the top of the head. 
then it's got a little comb. And usually the ones in the back, I think, are a little bit higher than the ones in the front. So you can make those a little bit taller, yep, and then kind of try to connect them together. Cute chicken. All right, now I am gonna try to get a lot of this paint off my brush. I can either wipe it on a napkin or I can actually just kind of add some more feathers to my chicken. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of wipe it off on my chicken, give him some, some color here. Because I do want to have not a lot of paint on my brush for switching to some different colors. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit more light brown before I switch colors to put in where the legs are going to go. So my chicken's going to be walking, so I'm going to have these two little spots right here for the legs. And then, yeah, just wipe off the rest of the paint on my chicken. going to switch to some yellow. So um, I got most of the paint off just by wiping it off on my chicken. That kind of gives it more feather texture. Now I'm going to go into yellow and I'm going to draw the feet. Okay, so the first one is going to be out like this because my chicken's walking. And the second one is going to be back here. Okay, you may have to use kind of a lot of yellow paint just because it doesn't show up super well other colored paper. I'm going to make the legs first and then I'll use the same brush to make the feet which are just kind of lines that go out one, two, three. And I'll do three on the side too. The chicken's got some cute little feet. While I have the yellow on my brush I'm also going to give the chicken a beak and you can have it open or closed. My chicken's noisy so he's going to be talking. He's going to have an open beak like that. Again instead of rinsing my yellow off on my paper towel I think I'm going to um, just add a little bit more texture to my feathers. So while I have the yellow on my brush I may also just kind of throw in a little bit of yellow on the top part of my chicken here to give some lighter feathers. If the yellow is a little bit too strong, you can always mix a little bit of brown in with it so it's not quite so crazy. Feathers are fun because you can just keep brushing and playing until you've got the texture that you want. Then I'm gonna be done with this brush and I'm gonna switch to my smaller brush. For the smaller brush, I'm going to use um, some white. So I'm going to dip into some white paint and I'm going to make a nice big white circle. Now, my chicken will look a little bit more cartoony if I have a big circle, um, or if you don't want it to look quite so cartoony, then you can have a smaller circle. I'm going to use the back of my brush and the black to add a little dot for the eye, like so. Now my chicken is walking and talking, okay? If you want to, a couple other things that you could do to make your chicken a little bit fancier is maybe you could use some of the black almost as like an outline, like I might add, bless you, a couple of black marks um, by the feathers just to kind of give it a little bit more detail back of your brush for the eye, for the black. See how you get the back of it? Yep. Sometimes that makes it easier to stand up. Bless you. Um, something else you can kind of do is just add a little bit of black by the feet, so, or the bottom, so that kind of stands out. It's not a perfect outline, but uh, it just kind of helps show where the chicken goes. So every once in a while, just make a couple black marks to make some of the chickens stand out, especially on the bright orange paper. The feet and the beak are really light on the orange paper, so I mean, if I feel comfortable enough, I can try to kind of outline those too. But you really want to try to get a thin line around those. 
don't think you can get your line quite thin enough. You can just leave them as they are. Sometimes it's hard to get a real thin outline. Okay. That is how we are going to paint our chickens. Chicken.